Hey everybody, Spoops here. Last episode, terrible shit happened and Neela, she's dead. That's it. She died. I don't know if you can hear the soundtrack a little bit, but it's got some feedback now. You hear it? Yeah. Not the Skype sound, but the feedback. Um, you can also see now that she is, uh, she's, she's a little bit crossed out. She's, she's not there anymore. No longer dateable, I guess. Existing. Uh, so we're gonna continue on with our life here. I forgot. Did you fucking hear the footsteps? What? What the fuck? Okay. Well, I guess that was it for the footsteps. Uh I'm assuming it's because this is where you ran into Neela in the beginning, I I guess. I don't really know. La boca de lengua de los dientes. Damn it, I can't find my Spanish final like I did my midterm. Uh, that's fair. Something to spend my time talking to everybody again. Banana. Banane. Banane? Banane. I don't know. Fucking. French isn't my dealio. Um, but I'm gonna spend my time talking to everybody over again, just in case. Um, I actually feel like if we get any quests, um, it'll be on the second day, but it's just like, just in case, to see what's different, to see what's not different. Um, I think I'm gonna skip the usual regular banter that we see, or that I see, excuse me, like every, every time I play. Uh, I actually don't even remember where she's at. That's how I feel about school, work, and everything. about that one girl? Huh, what girl? Oh, you mean the one that cooks a lot, right? What happened to her anyway? What the heck are you talking about? You're losing me, guys. <sighs> Never mind, you're so slow in the uptake, Becky. Uh. So I guess she still technically exists? She's just dead? I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, great. Let's go to social studies. Wow, here we are, back at it again. Oh, Kyle, there you are. You're just in time for the current events discussion. I'll trust you'll try to participate this time. Yes, ma'am. Now then, for today's discussion, we'll be focusing on the conflict in Syria. Social studies come and goes, then English with Miss Nila, 3D Art with Miss Darvish, on the way up to my last period study hall, I see Maggie starting around the hallway with her basketball teammates. She shoots me a grin and then cracks some joke about my hard head. Of course I laugh in spite of myself, but like everything else today, it all feels too familiar. In fact, it's almost scary how familiar this all feels. He's catching on. So now I can go to the laborer. Oh, I'm already at the laborer. Never mind. 
Oh man, this English paper is giving me one hell of a headache. I mean, come on, it's Hamlet. People have been discussing it for 500 years. What else can I possibly say about it? Especially since I literally wrote this paper like three days ago. Grr, this isn't going anywhere. How the hell am I supposed to talk about a fellow for 500 million pages? Cigarettes finally kicked in, hasn't it? Here comes the swag jazz. <sighs> Let's see. Anything different? Haha, -ha, sorry about that. I just couldn't help but notice you're having a rough time with your. What? What's the matter? Kyle, where did you last work on this paper? Was it here? No, I did it at home. Why? No, oh, no reason. It just looked familiar. That's all. Familiar? How so? I didn't plagiarize it. If that's what you're asking. No, no, that's not what I. Never mind. It's it's nothing, really. So, what is it you're having trouble with exactly? The content or just needing the page count? So, even though it seemed like she helped put Neela up on the stage, or whatever the fuck, she doesn't seem to remember that that happened. Huh. But at least this time, I don't have to put that she was murdered on this question thing. Like, I totally read Hamlet now. Which isn't true, but... Now it can seem that way. Yes, let's do this paper, Breck. Fuck off, Brack. Brack. Oh, hey, wait a sec. Yeah? Uh, what is it? I forgot to thank you for the advice. So, thanks. Brack. Hahaha, <laughs> well, it was nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Incredibly smart, one of the smartest kids in the entire school. Not to mention, she's a real looker. That's not a popular ability. And besides that, I can't help but wonder where have you seen my paper before? I never showed it to anyone, let alone her. Could it be she's feeling the same that I am? The feeling that we've been through all of this before? I think if I try to work anymore on my paper, my brains will start leaking out of my ears. It's the end of the day. Not a bad pet. Too. Oh, she's actually looking at the other person now. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm still not following you, bro. How is finding A and B gonna help me find C anyway? That's how I feel about math all the fucking time. I hate math. Back at it again with uh, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle Cream. Crispy Kyle. <sighs> yeah, that's me yawning. There you are, Kyle. I was worried you wouldn't show up. Anyway, lover boy, I assume you've had your choice of lovely young ladies ready for me? Uh, yeah, sure, you can say that. Really? Well, don't keep me waiting. Where I read or read or read or read. Don't keep me waiting, man. Let's hear him. <laughs> Shit. Why is reading such a hard concept for me? 
Let's see, Maggie, Brooke. That's quite the Molly crew. I had no idea your tastes in women were so diverse. It's literally two fucking people. And is that supposed to be a bad thing? No, it's fantastic. I thought it was funny. In case you're in luck, I checked. Neither of them are dating. Wow, really? Wait, how do you even know that? I'm a stalker. All right. I guess you could call me a stalker. Wow. It's all about willpower. Suck it up and take the plunge. You have notes! Uh, Kyle? What's up? You got that weird look on your face again. Well... I don't... I don't know, Randy. I just can't shake this feeling. Feeling? Uh, what feeling? The feeling that we've done this before. Of course, I, I know that's impossible. I wasn't even here for last year's prom, and you never tried anything like this for homecoming or winter formal, so how come this all feels so familiar to me? Kyle, you're not running a fever or anything, are you? Or, you know... Smoking something? No way! I'm- I'm not smoking anything, Randy! <laughs> I know, man. I'm- I'm just kidding. You're stressing yourself out over nothing. You've gotta relax if you're gonna pull this off. Yeah, I guess. Look, why not go home and call it a day? You could probably use the rest. I'll be sure to bring those notes tomorrow. I'll see you then. He seems to be a little in on it. Man, talking about a weird ass day, I hope I really am imagining things. Anyway, I guess tomorrow morning is when we'll be planning our next move, or rather, my next move. For now, though, I should start heading home. For the girls, I guess I'll just have to sleep on it until I can pick one. I never know. Excuse me, sir, excuse me. It's Claire back at it again! <laughs> it's me, Claire. I'm so sorry to bother you. Oh shit! I didn't even see it. <laughs> my name is Claire. I just transferred to St. Carl's not long ago, and I still don't quite know my way around. Wow! What a what a what a woo! What a woo! <laughs> Thank you so much, Kyle. Now I remember. Oh. Huh? Uh, hey, wait, how did you know my name? Hmm. I suppose I must have overheard it somewhere. Don't be too surprised, though. From what I hear, you're quite popular at this school. People talk about you. In a good way, I mean. Uh, sh sure, if you say so. I don't mean to hold you up on your way home. Be safe, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, hmm? Oh! I almost forgot. You are going to prom this year, aren't you, Kyle? Yeah, why? Oh. No reason. I hear it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm sure they'll have a great time with whoever you take. Uh, uh, transfer student? I don't remember hearing about any transfer students. Not to mention, she kind of gives me the creeps. I don't know if it's the way she talks, the way she knew my name already, but... Something about her isn't right. I should ask Brandy about her in the morning. If anybody can tell me anything about her, it'll be him. For now, though, I should start heading home. Maybe a good night's sleep will help clear my head. Let's go home to bed. Go to sleep. Oh, 
not too far from campus, however, I run into Brooke again. She's in a hurry for some after-school appointment, but she stops long enough to remind me of our study session tomorrow. And then she... Wings at me? Well, did I see that right? <laughs> Here I was thinking she'd be out of my league. Maybe she likes my company more than I thought she did. And of course... My train of thought is immediately derailed by the feeling that this has happened before. This damn deja vu. Why the hell would it just go away? I've had enough on my plate already without my memories screwing with me. Day two. Lunch time! <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you are, Carl. You look like you're in a swell mood. How'd you sleep last night? Better? Uh, I guess. You guess? I'll take that as a no then. But don't you worry, Kyle. Once we get you dating again, you'll be you'll stop ruminating about your ex so much. I don't even think it's about the ex anymore, Kyle, but alright. You'll be able to sleep soundly with the knowledge that your BFF Randy has set you up with your dream girl. Even though there was only three choices in the beginning and now two, but whatever, Randy. Randy. Kyle. I'm Kyle. Fuck, I keep getting everyone's names mixed up. Alright, if you say so, Randy. Oh, I know so. Anyway, sorry that I missed you this morning. I was busy with the yearbook, you see. Not only that, but I was also getting something oh, I was ready for you, and here it is. Ta-da! Bacha! Does it say anything different? No. It does not. Well, what do you think? Wow, Randy, that's pretty neat. Okay, great. Just go ahead and put on that answer. Uh, what you're really gonna want to see is the info that I got on these girls that you asked about. You'll find it extremely useful. Hey, lighten up, Grouchy. I know you're still nervous about this, but everything's gonna work out fine in the end. Trust me. That's the lunch bell, isn't it? I hope you have an appointment. Don't you have an appointment to make? Jesus Christ, I can never read the words. <sighs> For real, both of them? <sighs> wow. Normally I'd say well done, but I really don't think you can meet them both over lunch break. So there's only so much time before fifth period, after all. You're not the kind of guy who'd stand a girl up on purpose, but in this case, you might just have to. Oh, sure, make me out to be the bad guy. I'm not the one double dipping with women! They're not dates, so hanging out. I'll have to figure something out, I guess. Ba -da 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 -da. Bio notes for Ryle can. Fuck! Ryle, Candy, Baggy, and Rook are now available. I can't. Prayed for the life of me, Jesus Christ. This will do. Thanks, I guess. Where are you going? It's not time to leave. Oh! Oh, right! I almost forgot! Randy, you don't happen to know anything about a girl named Claire, do you? Huh? You mean the new transfer student? Yeah, her. I, I ran into her yesterday, but I don't ever remember hearing about any transfer students. Huh. Well, yeah, I've got info on her, but... Don't you think you've got your hands full with the other two already? I'm not interested in her, Randy. I just want to know what her deal is. There's something different about her, and I can't really describe it, but it's definitely not in a good sort of way. Okay. I'll just take your word for it, then. Um, just give me a second to dig out my notes on her. I want to know that right now. Sounds like he still doesn't believe me. Well, that's on him. In any case, I've got to decide who I'm going to meet. You're going to meet Randy to look at Claire's shit. <sighs> 18. Calm, helpful, unnervingly chipper. Plans unknown. Nobody knows a whole lot about Claire, or even her last name for that matter, given that she transferred to St. Giles only recently. She's not really a part of any social circle, but her friendliness and cheerful attitude towards her fellow students mean that she hasn't made any enemies either. 
She often volunteers for community service activities, and she's also a peer aide for disabled and special needs students. Rumors abound as to where she came from and what her family life is like. Some say she's the daughter of a secret agent or that she's part of a witness protection program and that Claire isn't even her real name. Added to the fact that no one can recall seeing her get sad or angry ever, she's regarded as one of the most mysterious of students. If any rich, preppy, private school kid could really be called that. Most people think her striking violet eyes are the result of colored contacts, but she swears up and down that it's her natural eye color. Huh. Let's look at... Brooks, see if there's anything different. And it looks like that is nothing different. Alright. So we do that. Uh, instead of going straight to pick someone out, we're gonna. I can't move for the life of me, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go see if I can find a quest. Just for safe safeties. I I went ahead and, and saved. Uh because I think I wanna try and see if playing piano with her actually fucks up my lunch. song today. <laughs> Hello there, Kyle. I almost didn't see you standing there. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh no, it's quite alright. We could use the company. Uh, well, I have her attention now. Maybe I can try to learn a little more about her. Maybe I can figure out why I feel so uncomfortable around her. What is it, Kyle? Did you want to say something? When did you learn to play? When did you come to St. Giles? Where did you come from? Are you really a transfer student? Shit, that's so many, so many intense questions. Uh, excuse me. When did you come to St. Giles? Not long ago, actually. I've only been here a few days. St. Giles is a lovely school. The campus is beautiful, the classes are small and tight-knit, and it's a very nice part of town as well. I especially enjoy getting to be a peer aid for all our students with disabilities. It's a wonderful way to make new friends and give back to the community. Hold on. She's only been here a few days and she's already a peer aid? I thought you had to have good grades and a clean disciplinary record to be an aid. She could have been here long enough to establish that already. What else can I ask her? Where did you come from? You mean, before I came to St. Giles? Hmm. Well, it's very far away, and it's not on too many maps, either. You probably most likely wouldn't have heard of it. Wow, where are you, a hipster? Oh, that's a fishy answer if I've ever heard one. You'd think that the first thing a transfer student would talk about is where they're transferred from. Who avoids such a mundane question like that? Are you really a transfer student? Hmm? Whatever do you mean by that? I am a student here, aren't I? One who just recently started attending? By definition, that makes me a transfer student, does it not? Dumb question. <sighs> Nevertheless, I still don't think I buy it. Well, my partner did come to listen to me play, so I don't want to keep her waiting. Feel free to stay and listen too if you'd like. I guess I'm not getting the answers I wanted out of her. If anything, I only have more questions. <sighs> Everything about her seems untrustworthy. some more things about Claire, and by learned more things about Claire, it's not really. Oh, she is 
Salty McGee. Is it this guy down here, the gay guy? Come on, Brad, I'm serious. Marissa's never had a day before and she's super lonely. Just take your prom this one time so she can feel better, please. What part of no do you not understand? Why don't you just take her yourself if you want her to feel better about it? It's not the same and you know it. It's not the same either because apparently he's gay. Which is still something he should have said, but like, alright, bruh. something break or not? Oh! Is it this? If I can get the fuck over there, shit. Or does it not even matter? Was somebody sitting here last time? Huh. I know there's a quest here fucking, like, somewhere. Shit. You guys already talked about this. Shut up, Becky! You're so fucking stupid! You never listen! Fuck off, Becky! Is there anyone in here that's different? I think this one looks different. Oh, we can look at his puzzle now! It's the painting of a woman lying in a pool of water. Her eyes are glazed over. She looks... dead. It's a beautiful painting, but... Isn't this a bit more of it to make into a puzzle? The girl's name is Ophelia, I think. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. You should be glad to hear that, but I think it's too late for her now. What the heck does he mean by that? Okay. Does she want to talk to me yet, or...? Oh yeah, there you go. Jeez, you scared me. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, you're, uh, Kyle, right? The new kid? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? Well, um... Oh, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Uh, you don't happen to know Dan. Would you? You mean Jan Janowski? Blonde hair, deaf, talks with his phone? Yeah, I know him. We're in a few classes together. Uh, really? Y you do? Th then in that case, help me ask him to prom, please! Whoa, jeez, not, not so loud, will you? I mean, why do you need me to help you? Can't you just ask him yourself? You don't understand! I can't just walk up and ask him! I may be in special ed, but I'm not stupid! Everyone would laugh at me for trying to go out with a guy like Dan. That's why... That's why I really need to impress him. I need to show him how hard I'm willing to work to be with him. I'm gonna learn sign language, and I'm gonna use it to ask him to prom. Oh. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. I know, isn't it? If I can learn how to sign, there's no way he'll think I'm stupid. My problem is this, I can't find a sign language study book anywhere around here. I asked Mrs. Princeton if we have one in the library, but she said it was already checked out. You have to help me find that book, Kyle. It's my only chance to ever be with Dan. Please. Alright. Really? Really, really? <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, uh, to start, go ask Miss Princeton who checked out the book. Maybe they'd let you borrow it. Or maybe not, but you can at least try, right? For true love's sake. Wow, this girl's got some guts, though, but hey, it won't hurt to lend her a hand. I still don't know why I had to be the one to do all this. There we go, we found the quest. Let's go to the library. In all my years of being a librarian, I've heard that 
I've heard. I've learned that kids your age are notorious for not bringing their books back on time, so I started keeping a list hung up in the back. If you see any books floating around cabinets, make sure to come tell me, alright? I'm gonna find that sign language book. I should probably start by asking Mrs. Princeton about it. Ask her about the book! Oh, so should I start looking for books? Is that something I should do? We do carry it, but it's already been checked out, right? Checked out and overdue, I'm afraid. To be honest, I haven't seen that book in weeks. It's ex inexcusable how irresponsible some people are. It, yeah, tell me about it. So, you remember who checked it out to? Who you checked it out to, right? <sighs> Cruz. 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 Teacher. Right, okay, let's go find the music teacher after I look at this book. Oh yeah, there he is, right there. GG. What do you want? Don't you know kids aren't allowed in here? Wow, somebody is a salty McGee. Pete's sake, Mike. It won't kill you to be friendly to your students every once in a while. Would you at least let him tell you what he needs you for before chewing him out? He's so salty. They're both salty. I'm not in the best of moods, you see. What is it you needed? Uh, well, you see. Yeah, ask his ass about a book. We need the book. I did borrow that book from the library some time ago, but I gave it to Mrs. Ortiz to use for their special needs kids back when I was through with it. So if it's not back in the library by now, it's her issue, not mine. You know, when the rest of us check out books, we usually have to be the ones to bring them back, too. Piss off, Larry. No one asked you. We're just a good, good bunch of friends. Great teachers. Great friends. It's gonna be really ironic if the book was in here the whole time. Oh, it is her! Okay. Oh! The sign language guide! I had completely forgotten about that. You see, I was about to return it to the library when Mr. Dr. Ackerman asked to borrow it. I think she was trying to build a report with a deaf family or something of the sort? Don't tell me. You don't have it either, do you? I'm so sorry, Kyle. I overheard your conversation with Ariel and I wish it could be more helpful, but... Let's have to talk to Dr. Ackerman about it. I'm sure she'll be happy to lend it to you two. This runaround is really starting to piss me off. Still, I told Ariel I'd help her, so I can't back out now. I guess my next step is Dr. Ackerman's office. Can I take this book? Or no? Okay. Let's check over here. Kyle, I didn't even see you come in. I'm quite busy at the moment, but if there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Please have that book. Please have that book. Oh! You're looking for the beginner's guide to ASL. Uh, why, yes, I do have that, in a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, really, you do. Oh, that's such a relief. You have no idea what I had to go through to find that book, Mrs. Ackerman. <laughs> I bet. You look like you've been running around the entire school, Kyle. Here, let me go and get it for you. Oh, those are bookshelves. It should be right... Oh, no, this isn't good. What? What isn't good? Well, you're not gonna like this, but the book isn't here. It's not? But you said... Yes, well, I thought it was here on the shelf, but apparently it's been moved. 
How or why, I have no idea. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's like some sick cosmic joke at this point. I'm very sorry about this, Kyle. Here, why don't we look for it together? I'll try to find it here in the office, and you can look downstairs. As far as I'm concerned, it couldn't have left the building. Please let me know when you found it. It just never ends, doesn't it? Waste your whole lunch looking for these books. Welcome to St. Giles Academy, founded in 1973 by the F School of the of the in addition to our 90% graduate rate, eight multiple championship titles, prestigious special education programs, St. Giles been named one of the top 10 best private schools in the state, or every bit 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 We'll go down there in a second. Excuse me. There you go. Um? I just felt a cold chill all of a sudden. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's in the who's in the bed? Oh, it's right there. Oh god, okay. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's good. We're good. Uh, let's go. Let's go head out into the storage room. Always gotta say, uh, save. Got this, the, this key. Oh, it looks beautiful down here. Wow, it sure is dark. In fact, it kind of gives me the creeps. Hopefully I won't need to spend too much time down here. We're gonna go through every fucking thing. Nothing but old file folders. Uh, nothing in there. Box. Student records. Probably shouldn't read them. Nothing right there. File cabinet is locked. Old report cards. Let's check all the boxes first. Fuck it. Student records. Old folders. Textbooks on top of that one is a bit different from the others. What is this? Oh, this is it! The Beginner's Guide to Ariel. I found it, thank goodness. Now to bring this back to Ariel and... Oh! Uh, hey! What happened to the light? Oh no! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! What was... I could have sworn I saw someone on the stairs, but... <sighs> no. There's no way. It might have been my shadow, that's all. In any case, I'm done here. I should leave... You know, before Mrs. McKinsey finds out. Wasn't there stuff in here? You locked the storage room door. Thank goodness, that's over with. Gotta get rid of this key. Just put it back. There. Almost suspect a thing. Did you come down the stairs? <laughs> You're fucking rude. You're a rude lady. Why the fuck are there ghosts here all of a sudden?
Oh, you found it. Goodness, I'm starting to worry we'd lost it entirely. Where was it, anyway? Oh, tell me it ended up in the storage room with all the other old books. Mm, make sure the book gets back to the library, won't you, Kyle? I Sure, I gotta give it to Ariel, though. She's still there. I wonder if there was other, like, ghosty people that I, like, passed. Very rude. That's the next one. Sucking over. Sulking! I brought this book for you! Hello! Huh? Is that. It is! You found it! Thank you, Kyle. Thank you so much. Did she punch me? Sorry if you don't like hugs. Oh, it was a hug! Okay. No, no, it's fine. I'm just glad I can help. She probably could have just waited till everyone's gone. I feel, excuse me, I got a whole lot of studying to do. I will ask Dan Janowski out for the prom, even if it kills me. Oh. Oh, good luck, Ariel. I hope everything works out with you two. Thanks, Kyle. And if we could get this, I promise. What's this paper doing on the ground? Maybe it fell out of the book. It's weird. It's a poem. What could something like that be doing in a book about sign language? I should probably keep it. I don't know why, but something tells me I should. Ah, oh, part two! What? Oh, man. How's it going? Let's see. And will you me dance? No. Awesome. Um, let's. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, part two. You were once so good, so pure, so kind, before this malice poisoned your mind. Your dreams of love turned to dreams of hate. Your innocence held ransom by suffering so great. Okay. Um. Shit, let's just go fucking. Let's go find Brooke. We like books, I like books, she likes books, we all like books, let's go book it up. Hey, it's me, back at it again. Oh, there you are, Kyle, right on time. You did bring your paper with you today, didn't you? Oh, right, yeah, I've got the flash drive right here. Excellent. Oh, we should just have enough time to go over it. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, whatever. Alright then, I'll pull up a chair. Now, let's move on to the next topic. Based on your personal interpretation of the text, how exactly do you think Ophelia died? Uh, she drowned, didn't mean the pretty clear. Oh, I get it. At least I think I get it. Great, let's hear what you think. Did Ophelia intentionally drown herself or was it an incident? It was murder. Uh, let's say suicide this time. Fucking. I see. That does appear to be the most accepted version of events, but I'd like to hear your personal take on it if you don't mind. I mean, think about it. Ophelia was a, was clearly mentally ill at that point in the story. It's not a stretch to assume she'd be suicidal too. Plus, just because Laird is denied it doesn't mean she couldn't have killed herself. It's grieving and probably in a lot of denial. Not to mention the whole plague keeps talking about suicide, to be or not to be, the grave diggers in the funeral scene. So it makes more sense for Ophelia's death to be a suicide than an accident. Wow, you're a lot more astute than I give you credit for. It's sort of reading between the lines is exactly what you should have been doing all along. Uh, thanks. But Ophelia wasn't always mad. Something made her that way. Something that ultimately pushed her to commit suicide. I think that something could be. Mm, well, it could have been. Our 
father's death. That was probably a part of it, yes. I would give you some violets, but they all withered when my father died. In other words, when Polonius died, a part of Ophelia did as well. But remember what she also sang about during that scene. By guessing by chari- By saint charity, I can fly for shame, young men don't- Well, don't if they come- Don't by a crack dare to blame. Now it sounds like to me she's blaming Hamlet for something. Perhaps for breaking her heart? Yeah, you got a good point there. <sighs> Say, Brooke? Yeah, what is it? This whole time we've been talking about my interpretation of the text, but you haven't really said anything about yours. I swear I'm not gonna see all your ideas or anything, I just wanna hear what you think, you know? What I think? Mm, well... Personally, I agree with the consensus that Ophelia committed suicide. And like we've just established, the tragedy of her father's death and Hamlet's rejection of her the clear catalyst for her insanity. But to be perfectly honest, how much of her madness was truly Hamlet's fault and how much of it was due to her own weak will? Weak will? What do you mean by that? Well, admittedly, it's a very modern perspective of an antiquated work. But if you notice, affiliated, affiliated, affiliated characters defined exclusively by her relationships with the men in her life. Her brother Laertes, who acts as her protector, her father Polonius, who, whose death consumes her with grief, and of course her lover Hamlet, whose rejection only further contributed her downward spiral. What does this imply about her self-determination, about her own strength of will? Clearly not much. If you ask me, Ophelia's death was ultimately just a symptom of weakness. She was nothing more than a frail, maudlin girl who allowed her self-worth to be determined by the validation of other people. Wow, don't you think that's a bit harsh? Oh well, yeah, I suppose it could be considered harsh, but you have to remember that my interpretation is only one in a sea of equally valid ones. That's the beauty of literal, literal, literal. After all, wouldn't it be boring if we all experienced stories in the exact same way? Literal. Yeah, I, I guess it would be. Well, I think that should give you more than enough material to flush out your paper. Did you have any more questions for me? Uh, no, no, I think I'm good. Thanks, Brooke. You know, for helping me out. Anytime, Kyle. It really was a pleasure talking to someone who understands even an ounce of the Bard's work. Most of the students I tutor complain about how difficult it is, and finding someone willing to have an intelligent conversation about it is... tough, to say the least. Let's try to do this again before the end of the year, hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Well, here's hoping you finish that paper on time. See you later, Kyle. There's no denying it. Brooke is definitely smart. Brilliantly so. The fact that she could consider an average guy like me intelligent. It's definitely flattering to say the least. But for some reason I can't shake what she said about Ophelia. I know it's just fiction and it probably means nothing, but why would someone so kind and eager to help others say something so cold? Maybe I'm not just... Maybe I'm just not understanding her train of thought. It's tough to keep up with someone so intellectually gifted. But maybe if I keep trying, it'll be worth the effort in the end. That's the bell. Fifth period's just about to start. I'd better get to social studies. Sorry, Maggie, I guess we're not gonna practice together after all. Fuck you, Maggie, cause you'll say it for last, girl. So I'm just having like a little looksy wooksy here. Just looking around for some- Why are they all around here in this corner and shit? Three boys are conversing in a combination of speech and sign language. Oh, it's uh, Dan. Are you serious, dude? We've been trying to hook you up all week. just don't like her. Beggars can't be choosers, man. Suck it up. Of 
course you didn't ask for our help. It's called an intervention, bro. We're doing this for your own good. Jeez, Dan, you really are hopeless, aren't you? book. No! Will you me dance? Will you me dance? Will you me dance? I don't know. Will she dance? Find out on the next episode of Romdrums. Hello! Here I am! There you are! It seems like you've been cutting it awfully close to the bell these past few days. Try to arrive for a class in more timely fashion from now on. Hmm? On to our discussion! Let's talk about the current president of Russia! Fuck Russia! I'm the current president. Finding it hard to concentrate to, on my schoolwork. Is it the stress of trying to decide between two different girls? Well, yeah, a little bit. I was never good at decision making after all, but... No, that's not quite it. That's not all I'm stressed all about. It's this damn deja vu. This feeling that something is about to go horribly, horribly wrong. Is this a sign that I should give up? I shouldn't try to get involved with anyone? No, oh, it's ridiculous. I shouldn't let my self-doubt get the better of me. Just because my last relationship went wrong doesn't mean that it will this time. I'm gonna have to just focus if I'm gonna see this thing through to the end. And they will. He will see it through to the end. Because I have to play this fucking game. There. I think that ought to do it. This paper's not the best it could be, but I just can't concentrate. I don't want every word feels like something I've already written, and it shouldn't be because we picked different themes last time, but okay. Ugh, gotta stop dwelling on it. It's just my brain playing tricks on me. It has to be. I mean, come on, there's no way I actually remember all this stuff. How can you remember something that hasn't ever happened before? It's just stress. That's all it is. In any case, I gotta go see Randy. He'll want updates on the whole prom date situation. Yeah, I just have to focus on that. Randy, it's me! Back at it again! If it ain't Mr. Casanova himself, so how'd it go? Spare me no details, I'm dying to know. Talk about getting straight to the point. I had a feeling that'd be the first thing out of his mouth. <sighs> alright, alright, just let me start from the beginning, will you? It sounds like you had to stand up for Maggie to make it all work out. Maggie's getting the short shit of the stick until the end, bitch. Bad news, but you kind of blew your chances with Maggie today. I mean, would you go with some girl to prom after she bailed out on a date with you? For the last time, it wasn't a date! I guess I see where you're going with this. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend trying your luck with her if I were you. that just make everything awkward. I guess you're right. Hey, cheer up! Your other choice ain't half bad either. For all you know, it could be the start of something really special with her. Go home and get some sleep, okay? In the meantime, I'll brainstorm some ideas for ways that you could pop the question. About prom, I mean. After all, what kind of wingman would I be if I didn't see this through to the end? Help. See this through to the end? Alright, I'll try. Thanks, Randy. I guess. Don't sweat it. Border friends 4. See you tomorrow, Kyle. After... Wow, after. And to the word another. Another long school day over. But it feels like the hardest part's only just begun. On the bright side, or... Maybe not so much. It looks like I've already made my choice without even realizing it. Now I've just gotta work up the nerve to actually ask her to prom. 
But on the other hand, I've got this sense of dread building up deep in my gut. It's just like the feeling I've been getting these past few days. The, the feeling that I've seen and heard things before. Only now it's a feeling that I should already know what's going to happen next. That things won't end the way I'd like them to. Is this really just stress? Like I've been telling myself this whole time? Or is it something worse than that? What are you playing today? Hey, Kyle, hope you rested well last night because today's your big day. Don't remind me. Come on, don't be such a negative Nancy. You won't ever give what you want life with that attitude. No, 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 no. So, none of that, all right? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Renee. I can't give to it. Uh, the worst I start that, should I just go and ask her? <sighs> Listen, before you ask her anything, you should just talk to her. Pretend like nothing's going on, try to figure out the stuff she likes and whatnot. I'll stay here and look over my notes. When you come back, we'll put our heads together and come up with a plan. Sound good to you, buddy? Uh, Kyle? Did you hear me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I heard you. I'll go talk to her and... I'll meet you here after that. Great! I'll catch you later then. Randy, I know you mean well, but I can't help but feel like this won't end well. Oh, you're playing the same shit. Alright. I don't believe there's any extra shit that I need to do. I, you know, I'm actually gonna go over here and I'm gonna check out and see. Oh yeah, there's the boxes. I forgot about that. Let's see if we can find anything. You never know. Maybe. Um, maybe on the fourth day since there won't be any girls. Oh. Oh. Oh, you didn't save her. Uh. Ta-da! It's done. I call it hidden guilt. What do you think, Kyle? look for if you don't like it you can just say so oh no it's fine really but the truth is I really don't know what to think of it all I know is that it feels off yeah uh, absolutely <laughs> well all right You didn't save her. Okie dokie. Uh. Oh. Oh. Is. Is that coming from the piano? stopped. Weird. What the fuck? What? Is that Dan? You know it sucks when your friends start pressuring you to do stuff you don't want to do. I'd love a girlfriend to take to prom, but not when everyone's forcing it, you feel me? Yeah, I get it, Dan. I may not be one to talk. 
I don't know. I just want to wait till the right girl shows up. Maybe it's too late this year, but there's always next year, right? I'd rather not go at all than go with a girl I don't like. Sorry, Kyle. I didn't mean to dump this all on you or anything. Oh no, it's fine. I hope everything works out for you. I wonder if I should tell him about Ariel. No, I won't steal her thunder like that. I'll let her tell him herself. Herself. There's a cake -oo. Strawberry cake sits on the table. What's this cake doing here? Did the life skills class make it or something? to a bathroom. Okay. Oh. No. There's no way I just heard that. I'm just imagining things. I decide to go to a fucking bathroom and this is the shit that I get? Ghosty? Oh, the ghost isn't there. Okay. Interesting. Um, so I'm gonna save here. No, I'm not. I'm gonna talk to this guy who's just staring inside of the building like a creep. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm going to save. Um, on the next video, we'll finish the rest of this day. Um, and move on from there. Uh, I like that in this loop? I guess it's a loop? I like that in this loop it's, uh, it's a little spoopy. Little ghosties, uh, little spoopy sounds in the toilet. That's where the ghosts usually hang out anyways. Toilet, you see any horror movie, they open up the bathroom, there they are. Um, but thanks you guys a lot for watching. Uh, we will make another video soon, and by we, I mean just me. I'm not haunted by a ghost, not yet anyway. Uh, but we will see you in the next video, and thanks you guys a lot. I meant thanks a lot, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs>